You're listening to Articulate with your hosts, Kevin Kramer and Sean Gillespie, your go-to guys for art tips, techniques, and general artist ramblings. Presented by drawingandcoloring.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Articulate, the podcast where we talk about everything art and anything that you might want to be hearing about. Unless... Unless it's art not art related. Art wise. Yeah. yeah. So that, everything. Make that clear. Right. Yeah. I, I am your host, Kevin Kramer, and with me as always. Sean Gillespie. And today's topic is going to be sketchbooks. Yeah. Talking about sketchbooks. We're talking about uh, when to use them, why to use them, and whether or not you even need to use them anymore. Yeah. I think it's kind uh, of where we're going to talk. A lot of technology right, right there that just completely does a lot of stuff for right. you. Right. Really. Gets rid of a lot of things. So let's start off with... Why do you use them? Where do you use a sketchbook, Kevin? Still, no. I've been day? told to always carry a sketchbook with me anywhere I go and just sketch down things. And, and you do this? I, I, <laughs> I don't. But do you? I have been told okay. to do it. All right. But I have never consistently done it. Once. Yeah, I don't either. But not, I think it's a good idea. Not even in. I've even tried. I have. I've gotten every size. Right? Yes. You know, it's, it's you're just, like, well, you get start off with a big sketchbook and you're like, well, yeah. I don't, I'm not going to carry this yeah. around with me everywhere I go. And exactly. you move down to the pocket size. Exactly. Yeah, I did like, that for oh, a while. Yeah, I use this I one. I did that for, for a while. Sure. Yeah. I just, just put it in a pocket. I have mm-hmm. a, well, then I have to carry a pencil. Right. And then it just brings up another thing. And then when mm-hmm. you're, you know, you're not really, so you see not, something and you go, oh, oh. Not doing a good job on selling us on the sketchbook idea here, Kevin. Here it is. <laughs> and then I just draw it in there. Right. But I'll tell you where a sketchbook is handy for me. Right. Because I'm like you. I I used to carry a sketchbook with me, and I used to use it to just kind of get, like, well, the way the light hits a certain thing, and that's right. good to remember and all that. Then the iPhone was invented. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm just like, oh, I like that. Click. You know, and yeah. that's that's my new sketchbook. Or even if it's an idea, because people are like, oh, you should write your ideas. I'm like, note to self, uh, a drawing of a whale in an office yeah. room. You know, and then it's like things like that. And I do that. And I think that actually is a voicemail I left to myself. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, well, because I got this idea. I want to do a painting of a whale in an office space with the manager arguing with a janitor. You know, and that's nice. like a painting I want to do. And I don't know why, but I wrote the, you know. Just and, anything that yeah, pops in your head. Right. Anything that pops yeah. in your head. And so you get that. And I, I use my iPhone for that. So I don't really care. Yeah a sketchbook around anymore but i'll tell you a pl- uh, an area that i do use a sketchbook from okay. and that's processes right like with painting particularly you know you've got different processes like a glazing process that are like 20 steps and you so it's good to write it down okay so i tried this and give like just a little swatch or example of the glaze you tried on that and what effect that gave you right or as well as like um you know Flesh tones, like you can have, we, we had a podcast where we talked about flesh yeah. tones. You can have like just a page where like, well, these flesh tones work for this type of lighting or these flesh tones work for this. So it's basically a running log of things that maybe you're not going to remember every exactly. day, yeah. but you can't record it with an iPhone. You right. need an actual, you need the medium there and the actual paper there to record the way that media interacts. Yeah. I have uh, I've, I've done this with pastels. Yeah, exactly. That's a great example. Just to keep a record of mm. all my different pastels with like the information right. under each one of them. Right. And that way, like a year or two later, you're looking at a painting like, how did I do that? Which happens. Yeah. I mean, it's happened to me. I'm like, I don't remember. And, and if you even had to go moment. back <laughs> and repaint murals that I've done in the past or redo, like, you know, change uh, just a piece of it. And yeah. I'm like, I paint totally different now than I did then. And, right. you know... So if you have like a sketchbook and you keep track of like, okay, I did this with this, this is what I did with that, then it's basically a running record of your process so that you can hone it and develop it over time. So that's what I feel like a sketchbook is in the day of the iPhone is still good for. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of what I was saying. Like taking one around with you every day. Right. Maybe not practical. It's been replaced by something I carry in my pocket. Right. It's been replaced by the old iPhone. There's not to say that that's not a benefit if you can just have time to go sit in a mm-hmm. park and draw all day. Yeah, or that'd be nice. If you're just going specifically to observe, and that's a little different. But well, And another thing, though, and I don't use the sketchbook per se for this, is I'm a, I'm a compulsive doodler. Okay. So I will sit there and just doodle, doodle while my mind wonders. Right. And you're, you'll be amazed at 
just what your hands will do while you're absent minded, while you're just, you yeah. know, vaguing out. And then you're like, oh, this is something that I didn't expect or did not know was up there. And sometimes it might be a little frightening. You're like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Why and did I keep drawing this? And then you sign up for some therapy and, you know, and it lets you know. No, but that you need that. <laughs> right. No, but no, really. but so the sketchbook is good for that, where you're just right. going to be sitting there drawing and doodling and just letting your mind kind of go kind of a free for form. It's good for that as well as just developing like quick composition of a bigger project. Right. You know, right. it's good exactly. for that as well. Yeah, I've done I've done actual full-on drawings mm -hmm. like this elephant there drawing is. right here. Elephant. I did this actually when mm -hmm. I was studying uh, Alphonse Mucha's stuff, right. all of yeah. the Art Nouveau, yeah. trying to figure out how he did certain things, right. and then it developed into this. Yeah. And then I just took this and scanned it in the computer, and then mm -hmm. I went into a full-fledged right. thing that way. Right. But just being able to freely put down stuff and practice mm -hmm. and play around with right. it made a better drawing. Right. Than just trying to go straight into something. Yeah, and we've talked about this in the past too, as well as the the importance of planning your project. Like right. some artists can wing it, they can. Yeah, I know. Um, so. Yeah, I'm not one of those. I need mm. to plan it. It needs to be planned out. I need the composition laid out. I need to know how this light is going to hit this because I need to kind of. And the more I plan, the more the better for me. The project ends more up complete being. the idea. Yeah, 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 for sure. And so the sketchbook is definitely handy in that regard, although. I don't so much use a sketchbook as I just do scraps of paper. You know, really? I've got like, yeah, I've just got it. Like, I use the, uh, I don't like the spiral notebook. Spirals drive me nuts. I hate spirals. Yeah. And then the hardbound ones that are like uh, really where it's all like in there and it's actually uh, bound. Yeah. Like these, this one. I've got like four or five of these and I feel like they're so nice and so expensive that I can't screw up on any page. Right. So as a result, I never draw anything in them. So I've got like two drawings or three at the beginning and then I screwed up on one and now the whole thing's scrapped because it's imperfect. And that's a compulsion thing for me. Maybe you're not that way. Yeah. But for me, those biggie tablets that are like acid free where you actually pull, peel the paper out of it. Yeah. And it's not like a tear away, but it or, just peels off from the glue that's in the uh, binding. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. have any kind of spiral. Like right, that. yeah. No kind of spiral where it's just kind of like a glue, kind of like, almost like a sticky note, you know, yeah. where it's like glued like in there. Yeah, like, and you just peel it off. That's the kind that I like. See, I don't, I, I don't mind those, mm -hmm. but after a while I find that they, they kind of pull out easier. They do, but I don't mind that because I'm just doing it one page at a time anyway. So I'm just pulling it out and then yeah. sketching and pulling it out, sketching. And that way, if I screw up, I throw it away. Screw up, and I can pull out other pages, and you know, I, that's that that works best for me, but that's not yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Well, there's that's okay. So we what did we cover? We covered some of the pros of using them. Kind of. Well, how to, we covered that day to day use. Yeah. You may want to just use your iPhone as far as just taking pictures and gathering yeah. source material, yeah, as I well think, as just I recording think ideas. Having the mind, the mindset of having a sketchbook on you at all times in this day and age is. It's a little antiquated. Yeah, it's a little impractical unless you, you are carrying a bag or a backpack with you everywhere you go. Because right. then, yeah. Right. But even then, I, we're so busy now, stopping to actually sketch something is it, not necessarily going to happen. And then plus, whatever you're trying to sketch, if you're trying to sketch a person and they not know it, they're probably not going to sit there in that same position long enough to do it. So just, right. you can. it's much more easy to serotip, surreptitiously take a photo of them and then draw, sketch it later right. in your sketchbook. It's a little weird to... Yeah, it's a little creepy. Sing. I've done it, but yeah. it's creepy. Yeah, yeah, dude, too. Yeah, the, Mr. Creepers. Okay, so where would you use a sketchbook? I use a sketchbook in my studio. In like, the yeah, actually in the studio, like I said, when I'm either laying out my processes or trying to remember that, you know, like right now, uh, and I keep talking about the glazing technique because that's what I'm studying right now is a mm. glazing technique of Vermeer. So I'm right now in a sketchbook laying out his steps and kind of, you know, pour it, because I don't want to sit there and work on a whole painting right? and then be like, okay, yeah. So I'm just laying out the steps that way I can refer to it and I can tweak it and I can make little notes to myself as I go. Okay. You know, like then so you use it to learn a process. Yeah, right? I use it for process learning as well as just free for arm doodling. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm thinking about something like, well, maybe this will work, maybe this will work. I'm not sure. I, I mainly use it to break through my drawer's block 
okay. if I have drawers blocked because right. I'm like, okay, I don't know what they want. The you know client said this, they didn't give me much to work on. That's cool, right. I like that, but at yeah. the same time, I need to. And so if you just start drawing, your brain will start rolling with it. Right, I think times. I think that is really the key to the sketchbook yeah. in any way that you look at it yeah I mean, that's really what the idea of it yeah. is unlike a canvas where it's like a 40 dollar canvas and it needs to be great with a sketchbook right. you can you can be crap and you can throw it away <laughs> i mean you can spend 40 dollars on a sketchbook oh yeah but it should but, have a lot more than one page <laughs> exactly otherwise you got screwed but the i mean as long as it has acid-free paper yeah that's a good one that's really all it needs yeah it doesn't have to be huge yeah. doesn't have to be spiral bound mm -hmm. book style like i don't care for this one i mean and you can get sketchbooks that are watercolor paper you can get 90 pound right. 100 pound paper yeah, in so sketchbooks gonna, so they yeah that. so they can move ink on it and it'll absorb ink and you can use watercolor on them a lot of people do that right so really what i the way i use it is a testing ground mm -hmm. yeah that's that is a given. I think right. that should be really the only uh, use for the sketchbook, in my respect, is it's a testing ground for products or anything I need to draw a logo for mm -hmm. or any kind of um, anything I'm trying to learn how to draw. Right. So as long as you have a sketchbook and you have any size, mm -hmm. spiral bound, right. top glued, spiral right. on the top, or can just bound like a regular book yeah and i feel like though i'm very like tactile mm -hmm. so i to me like the the way the paper feels when i touch it as well as the way the book feels i mean these are all factors i do take into account when i'm looking for a sketchbook and i actually have a certain brand that i buy and a certain size that i buy and the Which other is? day well it's it's biggie brand is, is the it's biggie by canson i think is how you pronounce it biggie is it the big yellow one yeah well it's uh the it's kind of an auburn color the on uh, the one that i get but it's uh you know it's just called biggie on there but it's um and the size i get is 14 by 17 and the reason for that is because my scanner is 14 by 17. So, you know, that way if it works out, I can just scan it right in. So I have a reason for that. And it has that glue bind instead of spiral because, as I mentioned, spiral drives me nuts because it keeps the book up off of the paper. And I hate that. And I don't like these because you can't lay them perfectly flat. Yeah. So those every... two things drive me crazy about those types of books. So that's why I get the one with the glue book. But it's hard to find. So I have to order them online. I went from store to store to store the other day and I couldn't find them and then uh, I didn't go to Jerry's Artorama which is you know just down here right down the street right down the street from you not me it's not, but it's a little ways anyway, from me it's, yeah. close. it's in the middle of both of us yeah it is but that's where I should have gone just to get the one I want and actually probably yeah. do that tomorrow maybe. yeah <laughs> but well see even um what is it, moleskin mm -hmm. they have these kind that are like that which mm -hmm. is probably the you know the ubiquitous Detective. Yeah, it's like the ubiquitous for any kind of journal or any entry right. thing like that is moleskin. Mm -hmm. These are a little pricey. Mm -hmm. but they are these, surprisingly expensive. Yeah, but these are kind of like what you say. Yeah, that's similar. But it's yeah. actually sewn. Right. These, yeah. But these open up flat and yeah, see, are really good. That would be handy. They are... Yeah, they're like 20 bucks a pop. For that. Yeah, for this, for tiny. Yeah. Yeah, and that's always surprising to me. So... Those are good. Then it is made out of moles. <laughs> I don't know if they're made out of moles. It says mole skin. I don't know if that's true. It's made out of moles. But, yeah, like I, I've used, I've gone to the vintage store. I shouldn't be looking through Sorry. That. I've gone to the vintage store and I've used, I get old photo albums. Yeah, see that's an interesting idea. I've never done that before. With perfectly good paper yeah. in here. I mean, it's not going to be uh, archival. No. Any, by any means, but if you need cheap paper to draw mm -hmm. on or anything, you just need to draw out a sketch, you even mm -hmm. get like a cool texture with them. Yeah. There you go. Old photo albums. You can even make your own. Just yeah. like, uh, you know, get your own paper and drill holes in it or, you know, hole punch, punch holes in it. That'd punch probably holes? Be, you don't hole have punch? to drill paper. But then you just For run some paper. thread to it. I've seen people do that with their sketchbooks. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've made some uh, books and bounding books and... It's a little, little, it's a little bit of process, right. but uh, 
Yeah. You can definitely make your own sketchbooks too. Yeah. So it's it's definitely like you know you have to choose for yourself what works best for you. You know, is it right. tactile and or not, and also choose what you're what you're doing it for. Like if you're planning on making a sketchbook that you're gonna sell as one work of art, right. then I've never seen that done, but I'm sure it could be done. But you know, more power to you. You're gonna want a fancy sketchbook for that. Right. Um, well, there's also you don't want to eat. I just keep wanting to say you don't want to get hung up on making a masterpiece no, in no, the sketchbook because no. you, you can see all these ones online. No, the point sometimes. of the sketchbook, yeah, and the point of the sketchbook is is to it's okay to screw up and it's okay right. to make something that's just because you're just brainstorming, right? And that's hard to do, and that's why I think people like you and me end up with. 500 half finished sketchbooks because yeah every get, one of those sketchbooks i showed yeah, you yeah. is not completely finished right. at all yeah i'm the same way i've got four or five at home that are just not finished and yeah. it's because i did like a one or two drawings and i was like i don't like this one yeah and then i move on <laughs> yeah i'd see there i've i've tried every different paper i've mm-hmm. tried every different style as you can mm-hmm. see i had every single one but i even write like this one specifically for these types right. of drawings and this yeah and I draw one of them or yeah, two of them, and yeah. then I never open it up again. Yeah, no, same thing. I, I try to break them down to keep them organized, and then it just always yeah. fails. Just but, pick one and let it flow. Yeah, just let it flow. Relax. Have yeah. fun with it. It's if, art. If you get nothing else from this podcast, yeah. Yeah. pick one book. Yeah. Let your ideas just go into that one until it's over. Mm-hmm. And then start a new one. Or just do the scrap of paper method. I got a pile of paper next to my computer. I just yeah. sketch, pile, sketch, pile. That's my method now. Yeah, well, that, that's it's too. You can write down method. ideas directly too. It's the pile method. Pylon method. Pylon. Pylon. Yeah. So. I don't use that one specifically. It's messy. It's, it's a messy yeah. method. Okay, and you said it. Yeah. So <laughs> it can get messy, and it's a fire hazard. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Yeah. I don't so know. anyway, sketchbooks. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. I'm careful. So use them. iPhone. <laughs> Most of the time, going to be your sketchbook if you're like me and you don't want to carry around a sketch sketchbook. Right. And you're short on time, which most people, most of us are nowadays. Well, even if you have an iPad, I think there's like a sketchbook app. Oh, yeah. That's that they cool. have. Yeah, that would be awesome. I think they do have that. Okay. So look that up. Yeah, that would be really cool. Or we'll, we'll put, I'll find it and I'll put a link but to it But even then, I'd just be like, click. Right, I'll take and a picture just draw and I'll it just later. draw over it or yeah. something. So, but, yeah. There's other options besides a physical sketchbook. Right, if you right. carry some, if you carry a device with yeah. you. Yeah, but as far as like process, don't rely on your memory because oh, yeah. you're not yeah. gonna remember five years from now. You're not gonna remember your process for painting this or getting this exact thing. So definitely for processes, I would say a sketchbook is essential. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. There you wow. go. I think uh, you've heard what we've had to say about sketchbooks. What do you think? Email us your thoughts. Do you have any uh, specific sketchbook do you like to use? Any kind of yeah. do you hate the ones that he uses? You hate Biggie, then I hate you. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I don't like spirals, but it's I don't really hate. care for those. What? Even though I have a huge, Man, yeah. no, a <laughs> huge tablet right over there on the right, I didn't buy it, so I don't really care for those. But what do you think? Do you like any kind of type of paper specifically? Let us know what you have to say in the comments below. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or on our articulatepodcast.com, hit that subscribe button over there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll see you next, next week. week. Bye. All right. You've been listening to Articulate with Kevin and Sean. Subscribe on iTunes or check them out on drawingandcoloring.com. Always reminding you to keep it simple.